Live from Dodger Stadium, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Walker Bueller. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And it's even up. Even though Walker Bueller went to Vanderbilt, he hails from Lexington, Kentucky, and so he's a big Kentucky basketball fan. Ground ball right side, and that one handled. Gets it to first. One up, one down. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. And there's a hit. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Down in the count, battling to stay alive, and just a nice job to put it in play. He kind of muscled that one out there, didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And he deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And yeah, the right hater deals. Runner takes off. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Good steal of second right there. And now the table is set for the middle of this order to drive in the first run of this ball game. I like that they're trying to manufacture some offense early on. The pitch. That misses. Counts full three and two. Got him looking. And there's two down. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. And now it's Elias Diaz. Strike two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. And a pitch. That one drilled left field. This one's got a chance. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Comes through with the RBI. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but... You're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Ball three. Check swing, and that's a ball. Ooh. 
swing and a miss. Three and two now. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. The kick, the 3 2. And there's nope. ball four. Ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. The 1 1. And that one fouled off. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Two on, two outs. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Now a pop up on the infield. Bueller makes the catch, and that'll do it. Rocks with a run scoring double. It's now 1 0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back. Starting on the mound in this one, Dakota Hudson. What do we have on him? He's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. The 1 1. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. Mookie Betts blasts one out, and it ties it up. It's 1-1. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of play, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Shohei Otani up to the dish. This guy has turned into a beast. Two balls, two that misses. Two balls, two strikes. That one missed. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. The 3-2 nope. is ball off four. the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Shohei on the go. Pitch is low. Throw. Save. Ziggy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Here's a 2-1. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Here's Otani flying around third. He scores, it's 2-1. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. And up to the plate is Will Smith. That one in the air center field. And they get the out on Smith. Runner tags up for third. And he's in safely at third with one out. That is good. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big time challenge when he's right, working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. But when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. The one two. This to third. McMahon oh. fires over to first. And Hernandez is out. Here's Jason Hayward.
Check swing. He went. Going to count one and two. Runner at third. Two away. Swings and misses. Good job at damage control right there. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard. Onto the second now from Dodger Stadium. It's the Dodgers two and the Rockies one. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. And now here is Elauris Montero. The wind of the pitch. Next offering is outside. Chris, you know, Walker Bueller's social media handle is, in fact, Bueller's Day Off 21. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One away. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Now with the plate, Brenton Doyle. And a strike in there. Yeah, Brig, that's ironic because he's one of those guys that doesn't take any days off. And if you're on the other side and he's pitching, you might want a day off. Ball Next two. offering is downstairs. Two, two, down. And it's filled up. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Jake Cave now. Righty delivers. A little out front there as he swings through it. Kicks and fires. Way inside, gets out of the way. Next pitch is outside. Righty to the plate. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. The right fielder. Really Number nice 19. job staying up the middle with Charming. his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. There's Chuck Nasty. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. The 1 1 is fouled off. K off of first with two away. In the dirt, but kept close. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, and he can't hang on. No throw, and he reaches safely. Next for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And a pitch. Just a slow ground ball this time. Tosses to first. Out number three. Two left for Colorado. And our score remains 2-1. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And now it's Gavin Lux. The second baseman. The 2-1. Ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Kicks and deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. 
Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two two now. And now it's filled up. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that wall. And now the center fielder, Andy Pajes. Grounder might be two. There's one. And that's two. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Dodgers two and the Rockies one. Back here at the ballpark, and here is Ryan McMahon. Number 24, Ryan McMahon. The pitch. Good eye right there. All these Rockies showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Rojas takes it in for the out, and there's one down. <laughs> Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. Doubled in his first A.B. Pitch nope. misses there, and it's 2-1. and one. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Smith puts the squeeze on that one. Two away down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Tapped softly on the ground. Whips it to first on the run. Oh. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Rockies, and they trail it here, two to one. Back here at Dodger Stadium, now it's Mookie Betts. Not shortstop. Mookie Betts. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Next pitch is outside. Got him. And there's one down. Well, that at bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Now Three pitch man. strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend oh, that at bat. Funny. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Doyle under it. Puts it away for the out. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Doubled his first time on. The next pitch misses and a count two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the fence. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and dipped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. The batter now will be Will Smith. The 1-1 is fouled off.
That oh, misses the zone, and it's two and two. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Teoscar Hernandez waiting to bat for the Dodgers. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And ball four, two aboard. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. So first and second with two outs. And up next for Los Angeles, Teoscar Hernandez. And there's the strike. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Dodgers strand a couple. They lead it 2-1. Start of the fourth. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. Brendan Rodgers. The pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. And here's the first baseman, Elauris Montero. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Here's a 1-1. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Fouls it back with two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brenton Doyle. Struck out swinging his first time. And a pitch. And a count one and two. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. No outs. Runners at first and second. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Now here is Jake Page. And he's already singled in this game. And here it comes. There's the swing and a miss. Bullpen activity starting up now. Michael Grove looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Liner snagged it first. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. So one left for Colorado. They're down two to one. Back here in L.A. to the batter now, Jason Hayward. One one down. Hayward. Flying drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. And the leadoff man aboard. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now on the ground is short, could be two. Bro gets by him at second. And he's going to make it up to second base, as that's a two-base error. 
Well, every double play turn starts with getting one, and even though these guys work on these plays during batting practice over and over again, sometimes at game speed, you can still mess. On a line, base hit. One run is in. Now two runs score, and they're up by three. Nicely done. Brings home two. Pretty good spot. Hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. And next for L.A., Andy Pajes. He's over one. Here comes a pitch. Run around the goal. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. And that just misses. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. And that's ball four. Oh, now he's got two runners on after that walk, and things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations, so he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. And the righty deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. You know, these Dodgers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. The numbers kind of speak for themselves with the four walks. They've done a great job of not trying to do too much. On the second, they get one. On the first, double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Here's Shohei Otani. Out to short, Tobar. On the run, throw to first. And that is the inning. They put two on the board, two hits, one error, and one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's Charlie Blackman. Ball to strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Got it by him for the K. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand now down, I got this. The so digging in, Ezekiel, Ezekiel Tovar. Tovar. Singled back to the first and scored their only run. He's one for two. 2-1 two pitch is in there, and the count is even. In the air, left side. Hernandez pulls it down, and there's two gone. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Next offering upstairs. Two outs. That one fouled off, two and two. Two down, nobody on. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. One, two, three, go the Rockies. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Josh Rogers on a pitch out of the pen here. Still pretty early in the ball Ladies game, so this bullpen right, has some work please. ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. Tovar. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Will Smith digs in now. Pitch misses there. Two and one. Activity in the bullpen. Anthony Molina, the rookie right-hander, is getting loose. Mears warming up as well. And a 2-1 on the way. Outside. Oh, 
Fouls one away and now three and two. And the pitch. Foul ball and it remains a full count. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Thought it was yeah, a man. pretty good pitch. No Top of the good. strike zone. We're seeing more good. fastballs in that location. Right, Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Outside corner, there's a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. 3-2 on the way. Fights it off. He'll see another. Three, two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they lead it four to one. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Ryan Yarbrough. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Elias Diaz. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Action in the pen down there. Alex Vesia, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Why the kick the pitch? And yeah, that's okay. outside. On the ground to the left. Throw on to Freeman. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Here's Chris Bryant now. And he deals. On the ground to third. Rojas with the throw to first. Brian out of the play. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Brendan Rogers digging in for the Rockies. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And another ball. And a swing and a miss. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Next offering misses, and the count is filled up. The other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing across here this half. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Dodgers four and the Rock. Well, we go bottom six. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Jason Hayward. Did you won't go and grab it. Dripping so she liked my fashion. Too much money all in the attic. Couple skeletons in the attic. Just missed. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Anthony Molina getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Out to short, Tobar on the run, sends it over to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. No batter, number So up next, Gavin Lux. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. Good contact guy, good defender. Next pitch is outside. And yeah, that's ball two. And yeah, 
and he takes a strike. The pitch. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Dodgers down in order as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Johan Ramirez takes over on the mound, and this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And Lowry's Montero digging in for the Rockies. One for two. The first base is number 44. And Lowry's Montero. The 1-1. One, one. Lifted in the air down the left side. Hernandez makes the grab one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to now stay closed. So digging in, Brenton Doyle, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Kicks and fires. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Everything came together for him. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. So, man aboard. Now the left fielder, Jake Cave. Swing and a miss. In the count, one and two. Inside and it hit him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Alex Vesia gets the ball now. And they felt it was time to bring on a left handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Tags the runner for one, and no throw. He's into first easily. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ezekiel Tovar. And now two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Doyle at third. Blackman at first. Two out of the inning. Next one misses. Three and one. out front for strike two. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Good patience to take that walk and keep the line moving and it sets up a critical at bat coming up with the bases loaded here. Now the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is that I want to stay square to the plate. You try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Next pitch is downstairs. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Next pitch misses inside, and that's ball three. Base is loaded, two down. That is ball four, and that'll bring home a run. Man, that looked to be in the strike zone right there. That's a tough one to have go against you and force in a run. Anthony Bunda comes on now. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And a pitch.
Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. The 2 2 on the way. Looked like it was a little bit up. So all three runners will be off with a full count pitch with two away. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie this ball game up. Maybe even take the lead if they can get something deep into the gap in the outfield. Ball four, he's walked in a run. Well, you know, walking in the tying runs, got to eat at a guy. But, man, that frustration has to be multiplied when you feel like you should have got the call. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Curveball over for a called strike. One ball, two strikes. The one two that's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going really great change of speeds he goes off the off speed to the fastball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next that's the third and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket big spot two out both the tying and go ahead runs are aboard Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here at the ballpark, here's the center fielder, Andy Pajas. Falling behind 2-1. And that's in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. This one popped up. Cave on the run towards the line. Fair ball. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Looped that one in there for the knock. Definitely got that pitch on the outside of the cap a little bit, but he made it work for him. Here's Mookie Betts. And now the lefty. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. So now here's the D.H., Shohei Otani. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Pajes at first, one gone. Next pitch misses, two and one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Safe in second, and he easily steals the bag. Go with a good arm behind the dish. It's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good clean stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. The pitch and a swing and a miss and there's two away and Chris that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base and the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play but that's how you do it keep him off balance get him out of there and deal with the next guy so two down now and here is Freddie Freeman that's to third and it gets by him here comes Pajes around third. He'll score easily, and they take a two-run lead. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Next to hit, Will Smith. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 5-3. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball.
And it's ball four. He missed down low. Leading off for the Rockets. So in now for Colorado, and Lowry's Montero. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Kicks and deals. Movement in the bullpen. Blake Trinan looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Ball struck him out. Well, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in, he gets it out of the danger zone, and you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way, so you have to swing as a hitter, but then it just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. And now the center fielder, Renton Doyle, one for three. Line and a base hit into right. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Jake K digging in for the Rockies. Hard hit, base hit. One runs in. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Back-to-back -back singles. line drive to the pull side right there but he didn't spin off of it that's the key you still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that new pitcher for the Dodgers Blake Trinan and we all know about his slider it's just filthy man and one of the better ones in the game I'd say spin rates very high and it just breaks a ton this ball's chopped in the ground, and he grabs it in foul ground. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. On the ground, two ball. To second, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. you they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI that was a possible inning ending double play great hustle and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it on the ground right side in plenty of time to first that ends the frame but they score twice and even it up late home half of inning number eight straight ahead we're all tied up five five Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. And that one ripped to left. Kane makes the catch, and there's one gone. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on as that... in the game for the Rockies, Anthony Molina. He's into the game with the bases empty. The 1-1 is fouled off. And now the count is even. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Victor Vodnik getting ready to go. And the right hander deals. Inside just missed. Gavin Lux waits on deck. Three two now. He goes down looking. Well, it's just a great job of playing catch with the catcher. Exactly where the catcher set up is where he threw that pitch. And probably fooled the umpire a little bit because there was no budge at all. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Next pitch off the play, and a count two and one.
right-handed reliever. And that's too high. Miguel Rojas up next for the Dodgers. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and that is that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. We go to the ninth. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. On the ground to third. And the leadoff oh. man retired here in the ninth. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Elias Diaz. And a 1-1. One -one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The count two and one. That's ball three. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Chris Bryant and the Colorado on deck circle. And here's a 3 2. Swing and a drive. Left field. That's back. And that one is gone. He'll circle the bases and they jump out front. It's 6 5. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay Chris Bryant digging in for the Rockies So they turn things over to the righty, Daniel Hudson. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. And there's a the ball. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Eliezer Hernandez up and loosening in the pen. One run game here at the top of the ninth. And that one off the outside edge. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Lifted in the air out to left. Hernandez settles underneath it. And he makes the catch. And yeah, there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right the there. That front seven. shoulder coming Second open baby. instead of staying closed. Brendan. If he does that, Robert. he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The 1-1. One, one. That That's one missed. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And a swing and a miss there. Comes a 2 2. Just misses with that one. To third. 
fires across the diamond, and that'll do it. And some drama here in the top of the ninth as this home run gives them the lead. It's now 6-5. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jalen Beeks gets the call from the pen. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. And a big swing and a miss. Well, you can't offer it that pitch in an 0-0 count. It's a strike, but not every strike is a good strike early in the count. Swing and a miss struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And a 1-2. And now 2-2. Two and two. Spoils that one, and it remains 2-2. Two and two. The tying run at the plate. On the ground to short. Tosses to first. Now only one out remaining. Here's Mookie now. He's already homered in this game. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, you take a tight ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. You've got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W. 6-5 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rockies six runs nine hits one error they left ten men on base for the Dodgers five runs seven hits no errors they left six men on base time of the ball game three hours and 27 minutes tonight's paid attendance a sellout 56,000 the Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game and as you leave Dodger Stadium we